In this session, we will discuss how to get help online with Bioconductor. The most useful resource for online help with Bioconductor is the uh, support side of the support forum. You can navigate to that by going to the Bioconductor webpage and out here to the right under Learn, there's uh, the support side. That gets taken to a standard um, forum. We can see we have questions here people can answer and out here underneath the title of the question, you can see that each question gets automatically tagged with a number of tags. This ensures that questions about specific packages uh, gets forwarded also to the package maintainer who may or may not answer. It takes a little bit of uh, learning to, uh, to, to, to learn how to efficiently ask a question on a mailing list. There's a guide for that. If we go back to the Bioconductor webpage, uh, down under Usage, you can see there's also a link to the support site, a little confusing. And here's a little text about the support site, and there's a link to a posting guide, which I highly recommend that people use. Key information is that when you uh, ask a question, you try to always include the, the output of session info. Session info is a and it's a little R function that uh, displays the current state of your system, which is highly useful. Another thing that I find when people ask questions is that, is that they tend to include too little information in their, in their postings. Um, the way I like to ask questions is, uh, is I like to ask a, a clean, uh, 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 short question, and then below the question, I copy and paste uh, all the output that I need, the code that I'm using, uh, and all the information that may take up a lot of a lot of space. Sometimes I've even copied thousands of lines of output into into the uh, into the question, but that is sometimes necessary for people to help you efficiently. So I will encourage everybody to sign up for the uh, support side and to use it, uh, and to uh, eventually graduate to the level where you start helping other people with their problems. An alternative to the support side is uh, Stack Overflow. Stack Overflow is a uh, website that provides forms for a lot of computer-related um, um, questions. <coughs> and they can tag their questions using different programming languages and environments. So we can search for Bioconductor. <coughs> we get a little test on whether we are humans. And uh, here's a tag for Bioconductor, which I click on. <coughs> And now I have everything that's being tagged with Bioconductor. Um, this is also useful. Uh, this is not a form that I use myself, but it's highly used in, in computer science and for some programming languages, it's, it's incredibly helpful. Let's now transition to something slightly different, which is uh, searching for help with online documentation. So R ships with documentation for the packages that you've installed. That's very useful. But sometimes you want to search for a function you've heard about or you've read about. You don't know which package it's in. You don't really know what search term you should use and so on. And for that purpose, there are two, I would say, competing online resources. The first thing is called R documentation, which gives you uh, this very nice uh, 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 a search box here where we can search for specific packages, function names, description, authors, and so on. This searches the R documentation across all pa packages on CRAN and all packages from Bioconductor uh, and possibly uh, other places. So let's search for a function here. Let's search for find overlaps, which is a function we will learn to love in, uh, in, this, uh, in this course. And uh, here's some hits on some help pages. <coughs> an alternative to R documentation is another website called RSeq. It does a little bit of the same, but it uses a different search interface. It looks very much like Google. Uh, we have this nice minimalist bar here. Let's search for find overlaps. It also searches across uh, R, um, uh, R documentation, but as you can see here, it searches the uh, support site. Uh, it searches R bloggers and a couple of other resources. I use both of them occasionally and it's still trying to make up my mind which one I like the best.